I'm getting all teary, guys. Hello, Morgan. I'm so glad you're around when I messaged you and because you are the inspiration. Oh, hang on. But they mainly just graze on. There's another Wombat video. Um, you were the inspiration. I know you want one and, well, we've got some exciting news. We've got some exciting news. So um, it won't be a very long live, but I was so excited about this and wanted to share it all with you and I couldn't wait till Saturday when I'm able to go live again. Um, so um, I just want to share with all of you, firstly I want to say thank you to all of the new members of this channel because this inspired the first of what's going to be several um, things that are going to be happening on traces of nuts next time around it's going to be um the subscribers but um this particular one the first one inspired me i sort of looked at the all the members thank you for joining and i thought i'm going to double that and we're going to do something um every couple of months probably uh, at this rate um and i thought long and hard and i looked around and there's a lot of youtube channels that donate money to charity and all that sort of stuff. But I wanted to do something a bit more meaningful and something that we can all really enjoy. Um, so hello, Ruth. Hello, Scout Inquirer again. Hi, me, Jamie. Good to see you. Um, recliner Detective, welcome. Have I missed anyone? I don't think I have. Hi to anyone else who's watching. So I had a little chat with Sunny the other night because she all of the super chats and things like that go into her little bank account so when she's got vet visits or you know if i want to treat her or something like that that's where i use the money um so i had a little chat with sunny the other night because there was something i thought about doing myself anyway um and then i was like hmm i think this is a traces of nuts project hi dear terms of service we've got some exciting news so I've got a few different things I want to share with you guys. Um, but the first one is some of you came with me to Bonnerong earlier on this year to meet a wombat. And we got there. The The guy was actually, the carer was standing with the wombat when I arrived and I was fucking around. And by the time I went to the wombat enclosure, he and the wombat had gone. Um, so I broke Morgan's heart. And on... April Fool's Day this year, I went live telling everybody that I was rescuing a wombat and then it was an April Fool's joke and it broke a lot of hearts. So this is a culmination of all of that and then um, turning on memberships and getting some beautiful members. And like I've said from the start, I don't expect anyone to become a member. But for those of you who have, rather than do perks on the channel like members only chats and members only this and that I don't want to do that um I know you're still mad at me but I hope you forgive me after this um so there was a reason why I played that little video of the fabulous Greg Irons at Bonnerong with the wombat Maria at the start of this live so the first thing I'm going to share with you is I finally it all just came together and I'm like, this is what we are doing and I've got to, oh, now how do I get them open? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I've been throwing so many things and cropping things and everything else. Just give me a second. I need to download a couple of things. Um, this all happened really quickly too, which was great. So, but it, as a result, I'm slightly unprepared. <laughs> Give me a second. Uh, I want to open up these four documents that I've just cropped. Alrighty. There's one. Where are the others? Eh. Okay, they just take a while to, all right, okay. Hello, Detective Leigh McLean. <laughs> um, 
I've got a feeling I already know what name's going to get used with this little thing, but we'll get to that in a minute. So the first thing I want to show, oh, what's that? Oh, I could have done slides. I didn't know about that. Next time. All right. Okay. So a lot of you know, since I started my YouTube channel, I did the Bonnerong Animal Rescue course. Uh, it's an amazing... Hi, Blue. Hi, Joey, again. Um, they're an amazing wildlife, 24-hour wildlife rescue and they do courses to teach people what to do if you find animals that have been hit by cars, um, you know, on the side of the road that are injured or injured birds, all sorts of things. Yeah, I'm keeping the suspense, Morgan. Poon resurrected. Oh, God. <laughs> Word. Well, welcome, Poon. Just behaves yourself. I'm building up the suspense, Morgan. I can't believe it. I've been live for seven minutes. Jeez, don't burst my bauble. This is the best thing I've ever done. But I was just, I wanted to give a bit of background. So Bonnerong do, I need, I need to because not everyone knows Bonnerong, but they're a 24-hour wildlife rescue um, sanctuary here and they do courses so we all learn what to do if we find injured animals and birds. Um, and it, they do amazing stuff. And so the penny dropped i decided for the first one and there'll be i think it'll i'll be able to do this every couple of months so i've doubled what i get on memberships and this is the first one so this one is in honor of the new members but next time it'll be for all subs and i mean it's for all the community to enjoy so this is what one of the many things that you can do to support bonnerong you can sponsor an animal the AOC juggernaut, hello. Hi, Madam Celery. So, yes, you can sponsor um, an animal and it's um, $50 for a whole year to sponsor an animal and it enables Bonnerong to continue to provide care and enrichment um, for all of our beautiful Australian native animals. And you can see on the screen on the left there's a wombat there's a Tasmanian devil in the middle and a kangaroo. Um, and there are long-term residents at Bonnerong that can't be released into the wild, but a lot of what they do is rehabilitation. Um, and also they get a lot of orphans and they raise them till they're old enough and big enough to survive back in the wild. Um, and like I said, they do also provide 24-hour wildlife rescue. So if you have an injured animal that you find at 3 o'clock in the morning, you can call them um, and they'll, they'll send a carer to come and pick them up incredible so i was like okay well animal sponsorship seems to be a really great option for this channel um i'm trying to get excited again you burst my bauble morgan <laughs> um so that's the sponsorship and then the second part of it How do I get to the second page? It's showing photos is so so hard on here. Um, let me get to the next page. Oh, shit. Oh, I was trying to make this all fun and exciting, and it's. I think I'm the only one who's jumping out of my skin about this. Um, but that's all right. So all of the sponsorship documents and everything, you get a paperless, which is brilliant, except when you're trying to go live on YouTube and show everyone. Um, but they tell you that you are going to get your sponsorship packs within 48 hours of purchase. Well, we've got ours. So you get a welcome email, a sponsorship certificate, species fact sheet, a limited edition photo and a subscription to their newsletter, which I'm already a member of. So this morning, it's just refusing to help me out here. Fuck. <sighs> okay. This morning, I received a very exciting 
email, I think. A few people have left, which is good because I don't think this is for everyone, especially my ineptitude. Okay. I need a co-host to do all of this stuff. All right, so here is the first part of the email. And I was a bit excited when I got it. Hi, Tori. Thank you for purchasing a Wombat sponsorship for the Traces of Nuts YouTube members. We're thrilled to have you as one of our sponsors and are so grateful for your decision to support us in this way. Um, then they just talk about why they have paperless sponsorship packs. Um, please feel free to forward these to your members as you wish. So it's a personalised um, email as well, which is really sweet. And they do these um, like newsletters as well, which are pretty cool. This sponsorship's valid until the 16th of December 2022 and it provides direct support towards the daily running of the sanctuary, um, enrichment activities for the resident animals such as their pumpkin enrichment and Halloween, food, treatment, medicine and rehab for injured and orphan wildlife, upgrades and improvements to the little animals' homes, helping protect threatened species through conservation and breeding programs, and providing essential education to the public. Hi, BR the star. Ruth, it needs to be called April. We will be voting on names at the end. <laughs> um, and there's a second part to that email, and then I'll show you the photo of who we're sponsoring. But just so you know, the sponsorship, even though I chose the Wombat for everyone, um, it doesn't just go to one wombat, like it goes, it helps everything out at Bonnerong, um, which is brilliant. And like I said, I'm hoping to be able to do this, like sponsor a new animal every two months using the memberships and I'll double the amount. Um, and so by the end of 2022, we're going to have a heap of different sponsored critics. Um, critters, not critics. I'm not reading chat at the moment, guys, because I'm trying to focus on what I'm doing. It's going to be a relief when I've shown you the second part of the email. Okay. And then I want to show you uh, Traces of Nuts' newest member, subscriber. Okay. So, yeah, that's just the, the rest of the email. Um, there's all the things we're just reading out about what it does. Uh, without your support, none of this would be possible. So a big thank you from all of us here at Bonnerog. Bonnerong, four legs, two legs and no legs. Uh, so wombat shit, what? Fatso was on a country practice. Sonny's, Sonny gets, if I get super chats and stickers and things like that and um, anything I get from AdSense, that all goes into Sonny. The, Sonny's not missing it. Sonny wanted me to do this too. We talked about it. She's a generous cat. So would you like to meet a little buddy? This is the little photo they sent out. There's a, actually I'll do the wombat fact sheet first. Because some of you may not know much about wombats. Morgan wants one. This is the next best thing, Morgan. <laughs> so here's some little fact sheets about our new buddy. Uh, the bare-nosed wombat. So as far as their conservation level goes, it's the least concerned, which is really good. Like they're, um, they're doing all right, you know. They live for up to 20 years, between 10 and 20 years and they can weigh up to 40 kilos. They can get pretty big. Um, the bare-nosed wombat's the largest burrowing herbivorous marsupial. They have short, powerful legs and long curved claws, which they use to dig their complex burrows. They have a bear-like build with small ears and eyes. Their thick, coarse coat can vary in colour from a light sandy brown to a dark grey, but the true colour of their fur is often obscured by the dirt they burrow through. They like to eat native grasses, roots, shrubs and bark. They have rootless teeth, which means their teeth never stop growing. Um, and they have to keep chew on tough vegetation and even rocks to keep them worn down. Poor little fuckers. Hello, Shanna, gorgeous girl. <laughs> 
You've arrived to meet our, our newest Traces of Nuts family member. This is a little Wombi. We're going to be naming it shortly. Um, wombats are marsupials and carry their young in a backwards-facing pouch. A wombat's gestation period is only 30 days. And once the wombat joey is born, they are roughly the size of a jelly bean. Once in the mother's pouch, they stay there for up to six months before they start emerging to explore at her side. And at 18 months of age, the joey becomes independent. Um, they've got a large plate in their rump made up of a hardened tissue called fascia. And they use it as a type of shield to block off the entrance to their burrows in the event of a predator trying to attack them. And they can also use it to crush a predator against the roof of their burrow. But here's my favourite wombat fact. Did you know wombat produce cube-shaped poo? That poo is in cubes. I've seen it. Cubed poo. They use it as territory markers and the shape, the shape means that the poop won't roll away because they're using it as a marker. So being a, um, a cube, it doesn't roll away. How clever is that? Um, all baby uh, marsupials are joeys, Joey. <laughs> all of them. Like the little possums, my, my possums out on the deck, my brushies, they, they've got joeys. The block poop. All right, so I'll introduce you to our little critter friend, our new buddy, and we're going to have to come up with a little name of our wombat. Where is it? I've got it open. Oh, wait, before I show you that, I want to show you this. Oh, wait, this is it. All right. I'm just going to flick that off for a sec. Comments off the, <laughs> the square-shaped poo. So there's a little wombi. There's a little wombat that we're sponsoring. I mean, it's not. It's a limited edition photo, obviously, but that is what our little wombat will look like. But just to verify that what I say is legit, um, on behalf of Bonnarong Wildlife Sanctuary, thank you, Traces of Nuts YouTube members. Your wombat sponsorship will play a crucial role in supporting us as we continue to rescue and rehabilitate Tasmania's unique and vulnerable wildlife. We couldn't do it without you. And it's signed by the lovely Greg Irons. So there you go. Proof, proof, thank you, Traces of Nuts YouTube members. And like I said, the next one, oh, Shanna, you didn't have to do that, you beautiful girl. I feel weird when friends, I mean, you're all my friends, but I feel weird when, like, friend friends. Thank you, darling girl. Welcome. I need to go onto YouTube because I can't see in, um, I can't see in StreamYard what kind of member you are, but I love saying welcome to the whatever you are. Let's hang on. Welcome to the Nutbags. <laughs> Yay. Welcome to the Nutbags. So take a screenshot of that, guys, just so that you know you are officially sponsoring a wombat at Bonnarong. And like I said, I'm hoping to, like, do a new sponsorship every couple of months. So the next one will put the subscriber, it will have the Traces of Nuts subscribers on the certificate and you guys can choose. Now the three options are um, Wombat, Kangaroo or Tasmanian Devil. So we'll, at the end of this live, um, you, you definitely fit in. <laughs> but, yeah, at the end of this live, um, you guys will be able to choose what little critter we'll be sponsoring next. But now to get some inspiration, there's our new buddy, and thank you again to all of the Traces of Nuts um, members. Oh, Joey's already saying the Tassie. Yeah, I think a Tassie Devil next would be great. 
But I should be able to sponsor a new critter every – I had to pick a wombat first, Morgan. I had no choice. <laughs> Emily, I'm just an old lump of clay, but I'm going to be a cashew someday. I know, isn't it cute? Aren't they gorgeous? So um, we need to name – this little wombat i think at the moment the only there's only three animals you can sponsor and it's wombat tasmanian devil and kangaroo but like i said the money does help the whole sanctuary it's not just the wombat um your mum's dog is named taz after tasmanian devils it is adorable he's adorable is it a boy or a girl i think it might be a girl she's a bit pretty How do I find a membership link? Don't you just press join? Hang on. What happens if I do that? Um, it doesn't give me a link. It just opens up a... It just opens up the different levels of membership and a little join button. I don't know where you find the link. Oh, Morgan's done it anyway, I think, by the looks of it. It does look like a pretty little baby girl. But you've, you've joined Gorgeous. Yeah, I've got a personalised um, Yum Tours thing, you know, for my personalised URL, but it doesn't come up like that when I try to share it and stuff. It's really annoying. Look at what Morgan and Scout posted. Scout linked to. Oh, you're talking about the link. All right. With join at the end of it. Well, clever. I had no idea. See, I'm all new to this. So now the time has come for, I think we've all agreed it's a little girl. It's time to name her. Now, I thought that Morgan would be an obvious choice because I broke Morgan's heart with my April Fool's joke where I said I was going to be fostering a wombat. But now we've actually adopted one. We're sponsoring one. And I'll be renewing these as well, like each. So when this little one's sponsorship comes up next year in December, I'm going to renew it again. <laughs> it's a fun idea, isn't it? It's better than trying to, like, donate to charity and... Batshit crazy nutbag square shit wombat recliner love. Uh, that's a bit long, Skeddy Nonna. <laughs> All right, so we've got a vote for Morgan. Awesome. I mean, I'm, this pen isn't working. Hang on. Let me find a pen. Let me find a pen. Because I'm, I'm going for Morgan. It's the least I can do. Shannon says Morgan. Madam Celery says Lynette. No. <laughs> Come on. Morgan. Uh, Ruth votes for Morgan. Or oh, it can be another name. Um, Dear Terms of Service says, hang on, let me go back up. So we've got Ruth saying Morgan. Okay. Dear Terms of Service suggesting Cashew. Okay. Cashew. The Wombat. Yep. Yeah. Acorn. <laughs> I, ne I nearly did an acorn level. I nearly did. <laughs> I might add some more. I don't know. Uh, Skinny Nonna says, what about Sweetie? Oh, Ruth said April after April Fools. All right, April. That's cute too. Um, oh, Emily likes Morgan too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Madam Celery, poor little wombat, how could you? Wally, it's a girl, Joey. Oh, Lynette for the Tasmanian Devil. Well, we'll be doing votes on the Tassie Devil in a couple of months' time. MO for short. What was your suggestion, BR, for MO for short? I don't know. I didn't see that. 
Absolutely not Lynette. Poor sweet wombat. Where's Wally? Oh, right, okay. Uh, recliner Detective says Walnut. And we've also got Acorn. <laughs> a poll. I'll do a poll when we've got, when I can narrow it down. There's too many. I discovered the only the other night you can only do like, I think, five options. Oh, look at that. Sun kit for Sunny and Biscuit. Mm. That's an interesting one. A, ma a mismatch of Sunny and Biscuit Sun kit. Everyone loves Morgan. Wilma. Oh, Mo, like short for Mo Morgan. Biscuit for loving memory. Wilma. I don't know how I'm going to narrow this down. Well, I do. I'm going to use my discretion. Just not Morg for short. I mean, we could do like Morgan and April. Like, you know, Morgan April could be the the Morgan one. You know, we can mash up some names. Where's my YouTube live? Um, it's here. How do I get back into it? Here we go. Um, it's okay, I'll mute myself and create a poll. Okay. All right. What should we name the traces of nuts wombat cashew we love you um all right so the first one will be morgan april um there's been numerous nut suggestions so i'm just going to put them all in one category and if that wins then we will do individual votes on that Um, I'm just looking at the list. So there was Sunkit. Um, there was Wilma. Oh, there's only four options. All right, I'm launching the poll. We've got Morgan April, then there's three different nuts, but we can take votes on that. Um, there's Sunkit and there's Wilma. And I'm asking you guys now to enter your votes for the name that you would like um, the Wombat to be named. So go for broke. But like I said, with the nut one, if that ends up winning, we can then type in four different nut names. <laughs> but like I said, with the nut one, if that ends up winning. Oh, something like an echo. Nothing like an echo. All right, I'm back in stream out now. Tracy, no, there's too many traces on YouTube already. There's so many. It moved. What moved? We do. We have a new family member and we're taking a poll for a name. What moved? The poll. Well, that's, I, I can't see the poll. Where's my, oh, here we go. Expand the poll. So for me at the moment, we've got Morgan April or a nut name as a tie. I'm keeping the poll open for another minute. April, May, <laughs> well, it's, a, it's Morgan April because it was an April Fool's joke and Morgan was heartbroken. The poll is pinned at the top, but for the moment, maybe I need to refresh this page again. I don't know. I've never done a poll before. Oh, with the nuts are now in the lead. 
I'm going to keep the poll open for another minute, but at the moment, the nut names are in the lead. Click on it, it will move after you vote. I can't vote. Oh, the poll put you down for the wrong one. This is a lot of suspense. Glad my heart has mended from the April disappointment. <laughs> this is intense. Can you change your vote on a poll? I don't know. Maybe you can try changing it, Ruth. That's terribly sad news. I don't know, can you re-vote? I'm learning how polls work. Ruth had the wrong answer. I, I don't know. I don't know. That's that's the question on everybody's lips right now. It doesn't let you change it. What were you going to vote for, Ruth? Because we can try and work out how to move you. We can just, if everyone agrees, we can just say, okay, well, you meant to do this. So I'm jumping between StreamYard and YouTube at the moment. You shan't tell. Well, if you want the name and if it's going <laughs> to... Thank you for dropping in, Shatter, and welcome too to the memberships. It is like the Eurovision Song Contest. But, Ruth, if you want your vote to be counted, we might be able to just look at what you've voted and change it, swap it out. Like your vote could be the decider. My vote is confidential. Bye, Shanna. It's better than Eurovision. Yeah, Ruth, just say what you want because I'll be calling it in a second. If you don't speak up, you'll miss your chance. I wish I was allowed to vote. You'll go with whatever. Let's just do, oh, okay, so I'll go back to YouTube, hang on, because I'm in StreamYard, you can't see the poll. All right, so here's the results. Let me click on it. So we had Morgan April uh, at 29%, Cashew, Acon or Walnut, Sunkit and Wilma. Okay, so we're ending that poll. Whew. Now we're doing the nuts, the different nut names, and Ruth, you can suggest the fourth because I've got three nut names. So you can choose the fourth. Oh, look, there's the poll complete. Interesting. All right. Almond, okay. can't see chat while I'm typing all of this in, so while I'm making the poll. So the options were cashew, acorn, walnut, and almond. All right, the poll is up. Sunkit was very cute. It was very cute. Sun kit. <laughs> so the poll is up and you all get to vote. And I'll leave the poll open for a couple of minutes because, but please be careful. We don't want any more tears um, about um, wrong votes and stuff. You can't just be adding in adding shit in now huh who suggested shit did someone what 
It changed your vote. Okay, Ruth got it right this time. Woo! -hoo! Happy dance. Let me go over here for progress on the poll. Oh, Cashew's way out front. Uh, with 15 votes and how many people are watching at the moment? 17. So I'm thinking, um, <laughs> I know, Armand. It reminds me of Armand Joy. So, oh, look, I can't help that. I'm sorry. If the poll's shit, that's blame YouTube. I have no control over that. Um. But it it's a and it's an it's a resounding victory for Cashew. There's not enough people who haven't voted to change the outcome of the vote. Seventy five percent are screaming out for Cashew. Acorn, but can you spell it Morgan April? <laughs> Oh, my God, so much excitement. There'll be more of these, guys. Every two months we're going to have to go through this shit with polls. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, end the poll. It's not the poll, it's how you use it. There we are, we're ending the poll. And I love this feature. Check this out. It punches in the results for chat. Oh, it did before. Here we go. Shit. I nearly started another one. Look at that, everyone. What should we call our, what should we name our little wombat baby? Cashew it is. It's Cashew. Cashew, Cashew, we love you. <laughs> I don't know if she's like, if she likes her name. <laughs> it's baby Cashew. So cute. So there you go, little girl. You've got a name. Your name is Cashew. I'm going to um, put that into, um, you know, like a an editing thing and I'll put Cashew on there as her little name. Yay, Cashew. And it's the first time I've done po jo Johnny Cashew. <laughs> oh, my God, Johnny Cashew. It's a little girl. It has to be, it could be Johnny with, it is a cute little nut. Isn't she cute? So great job, everyone. I agree. Oh, it took a while for us to get here, but, you know, I'm just going to play this again. I played it at the start and some of you missed it, but it's just too cute not to. You've got to see a little wombat um, actually being a little wombat. So just, just, just so you can all picture what our little cashew is. I'm going to tell Bonner wrong that. I'm going to go, we came up with a name. It's Cashew. They're going to be like, what the frig? Yes, I think we've started a trend. I think we've started a trend. All the babies sponsored should be named after nuts. So this this is a little wombat called Maria, which is as probably as weird a name for a wombat as Cashew, let's be honest. Um but it'll just, because it's anim like it's a wombat doing wombatty things, you'll get to see what our little cashew will be like as well. Here we go. That's the lovely Greg. So that's our little cashew. Well, that's not our little cashew, but that's what our little cashew will be like. Um, so look at her butt. <laughs> look at her hop. I know, they bounce. A little fact about them that I actually learned when I went out to Bonnerong. I used to take people off cruise ships out to Bonnerong for like a nighttime tour, which was great because so many Australian animals, native animals are nocturnal, so they're feral at night. Um, but with a wombat, they love cuddles and being held and the, they're volunteer carers that literally just go out there to sit and 
hold the wombats, but they get to an age where they just turn and they no longer want cuddles or anything and they become an animal that's, you know, doing its thing to survive in the wild. But they get like a long time with these these baby um, wombats right to when they're adults where they just love being cuddled and so on. They're really gorgeous. Look look at her butt. <laughs> you want one be out of the side? Well, we have one here at Traces of Nuts. We've got cashew, um, which is incredibly exciting. Sold. I'm moving. You're going to impress your boss with the fact that cash does keep. Oh, cash for short. No, that's too YouTubey. I can't do cash. It's cashew. It's a little Miss Cashew. <laughs> oh, these are the funny now words that YouTube have just made so toxic. You'll cry. Well, I was crying before I started the live, just getting that little video lined up to play it. Yes, you can all move in here. Hi, Punish Dad. So I don't know if you know the news, but we've um, Traces of Nuts has adopted a wombat or was sponsoring a wombat at Bonnerong Wildlife Sanctuary and we've just named her and her name is Cashew. And I'll put it back up on the screen while I say my goodbyes. Um, but it's a bit of fun and nice to share some positive news on YouTube. And, again, thank you so much. Um She's shaped like a beautiful cashew. <laughs> you had a wombat as a kid, you don't remember it? We had one called Bruce. Like it was a it was eventually he was returned out to the wild. She's shaped like a beautiful cashew. That's a great thing to put up on the screen. You sponsored a koala, the gang, yay! God, I love Aussies looking after our wild critters. Uh, native critters. Yeah, you Googled the cubed poop. It's a real thing. I'll take you to the museum one day and show you all the different animal poops, including the cubed poop of the wombat. Um, but, oh, it's been a pleasure, um, Emily. Thank you to the members because, I yeah, I looked at the memberships and I thought, well, if I double it, double the monthly memberships, what can we do with it? And it just, it all came together. It was a perfect way to make up for my terrible April Fool's joke that distressed quite a few people, but especially Morgan. Um, then I took you all out to Bonnerong as an apology for that, to meet a wombat, and we didn't meet one. So it just made sense that we would end up doing this. Um, so this little one is on the certificate. It is the members because you guys have sort of helped this come together but the next one we sponsor will be on the certificate it'll just be traces of nuts um subscribers it'll be everyone or i might put the traces of nuts community um we do need to vote although i think it was pretty much a given that the next one we look at sponsoring which will probably be in february i'm aiming to sponsor a new one every two months so please remind me when it's coming up to you know the next one um I think we all agreed it'll be a Tasmanian devil. Was that the consensus in chat? Next time we'll do a Tassie devil for the Traces of Nuts community. <laughs> Hush up, is Ruth. Ruth, are you all excited? It was a brilliant April Fool's. It was. This is such an incredible and loving thing to do. Cashew will be so loved by it, but she certainly will. Um, <laughs> we can do a poll. All right, let's do a poll. Why not? Now that I've worked out how to do them, we're going to do a poll. Okay. Everyone gets to vote. The community is, we're all equals here. I really do appreciate the members, but like I was saying on the beach, I'm never going to do members only um, 
you know, chats and things like that. But if I do make um, little videos, I do have a thing set up where members get to see us, like they get to see it first, but they're only like those little videos that I make. Um, that's just like a, a perk. I had to choose a minimum of two perks and that was one that I went for. So you don't know why you enjoy the polls. You wish I had a community page. Everyone would unsub due to too many polls. I like polls too. We're a democracy. Oh, the Tasmanian devil should be pistachio. Well, remember that, Madam Celery, posh vegetable for when um, when we do another one in February. I'll, I'll make a note in my diary um, that February will be the next sponsorship. But that way it means, you know, we're going to be helping out Bonnerong with a lot of sponsorships throughout the year. I love that it's $50 for 12 months is incredible. Um, but won't it feel fantastic? I mean, we may even be able to do the month, but it really just depends on my income because I'm a community lawyer. And I know everyone's like, you're a lawyer, but trust me, I'm on a smaller salary than when I was in my second year of law in the early 1990s. <laughs> But um, I reckon if we, if, if we go for every two months, I know it won't be a problem, but push it, it might push it if we do one every month. But, yeah, remember pistachio for next time. It looks like the poll is, oh, it's, people are still voting. I'm going to give everyone a few more seconds. Um, a few of you are sweethearts and you wanted a wombat sibling for cashew. That's very cute. Kangaroo, 8% and R.O.P. Beaumont children, well, yeah, that was a while ago. If you'd said that on a live on Boxing Day, because that was the day they went missing, interesting thing to arrive with, Clear Floss, but good to see you. <laughs> um, but it looks like I'm just going to refresh my page, but it looks to me like we have a standout winner with the Tasmanian Devil. And I've also made a note to put pistachio on the list for the next round. I'm kind of hoping, though, that the naming them after nuts novelty wears off and, like, we end up with cashew, pistachio, Brazil nut, peanut and felicity. <laughs> You know what I mean? But, yeah, it's a resounding yes for a Tasmanian devil. So the next one, which will be the, the Traces of Nuts community, we're going to be sponsoring a Tasmanian devil. But let's not take the shine off our newest addition to the Traces of Nuts family. Dear little Cashew, the baby wombat. I know she isn't driving, but this is urgent. Wait, huh? Can I close? Can you do that, Morgan? Are you able to close the poll? Of course you can. If you've got the power to do that. Hey, Francesca. Uh, you've only just cruised in, but hopefully you know what's happened. We've um, Traces of Nuts is sponsoring um, a wombat of using, using the memberships and... Um, Anyone know the nut naming? Oh, I love Best in Show, the nut naming guy. The nut naming guy. I can't remember that, but I'll have to revisit it. So, yeah, Francesca, we're um, sponsoring a wombat. I'm using the memberships. I've doubled it. Like I've matched it and doubled it and... Uh, every couple of months we'll be sponsoring another one. So in February we're going to do... December for all right. Well, I'm going to end the poll because it didn't work for Morgan. Oh, closing the poll only means you want to fold it up. <laughs> I love Best in Show too. I'll have to have a revisit of that. So there we have it. The Tasmanian Devil Pistachio is a suggested name, um, and. In February, I will organise another sponsorship. But for now, it's all about baby cashew. Who's just got to be the cutest little thing ever.
Um, apparently only I have the power to end a pole, Morgan. Sorry about that. <laughs> I saw a cute little Dear Terms of Service, there you go, with little Cashew with her name in stars. So, yes, thanks, everyone. That was a bit longer than I planned to be live, but it took me a little while to get all the info up. But I wanted to prove to you that it is happening. I have got the certificate. That is, in fact, the certificate there. I'll scroll down again for those of you who've just arrived. Um, on behalf of Bonnarong Wildlife Sanctuary, thank you, Traces of Nuts YouTube members. Your Wombat sponsorship will play a crucial role in supporting us as we continue to rescue and rehabilitate Tasmania's unique and vulnerable wildlife. We couldn't do it without you. And I couldn't do it without you guys either. I'm getting emotional again. Thanks, Joey. See you, Groover. Um, everyone, shed, spread some love and joy around YouTube and out in the real world too because God knows we all need it. Um, thank you for all coming in and meeting Cashew. <laughs> thank you for participating in voting and coming up with the name and um, really look forward to seeing you all again soon. Yeah, there's a lot of happiness. I'm glad you guys were all as excited because I was thinking, am I just being really daggy? Like, am I way too excited about this? But I love that you all uh, appears to me as excited too. Thank you, dear Terms of Service. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Um, enjoy it wherever you are, whether it's nighttime, daytime. Cashew is adorable. And um, I'll try to take us all out to Bonnarong so we can meet a wombat out there next time as well. And it might even be Cashew. Sh Sunny's a very generous girl. She was all up on this plan too. But I love you, Grievers, and so does Cashew, and so does Sunny. See you all again very soon. Love, love.